So I thought that I would do a quick video because um, one of the Facebook group members asked me a really, really good question. And so I want to answer this because I think it's really beneficial. Her question was, what is the fluid that comes out of drains after um, abdominoplasty? Also, what is the fluid that comes out after liposuction. So these are two different types of fluid. However, they can, they can be the same. So I'm going to explain um, what they are. So first of all, let's look at um, the fluid that drains out of a drain after abdominoplasty. And that is what we call serous fluid. It's only serous fluid, it's called serous fluid because it's, it's in a, um, a free space um, and it's where the tissues haven't, um, haven't re-adhered back down onto when they've been lifted up and dissected and the, there's been a, a space like that um, in the tissues which fills up with a mixture of lymphatic fluid and blood plasma so that is there it becomes it's called serous fluid however serous fluid in its correct form is actually in um, much deeper layers and it comes from the serosa um, and there are they are cavities in the body between organs and serous fluid from the serosa is a lubricating fluid, which means that organs and tissues can move without friction when there is movement. So that is what is the correct serous fluid. So it's in, in deep in the body in a cavity. You have three cavities. Um, am I going to remember them? We have, I've written them down, the pericardium, the pleura and the peritoneum. I should have remembered that, but I get, I go blank when I do videos. Um, so that is what correct serous fluid is. Fluid in a seroma, we call it serous fluid, but I believe that it is different than the fluid that comes from the from the um, serous glands. Um, so we have the um, fluid in a seroma, which is a mixture of lymphatic fluid and plasma. Um, and if if that space, if that gap, if that free space in the tissues. Um, does not adhere, then we get that buildup of fluid in that space. Can it be resolved? It, if it's a, if it's a small, if it's a small, really small seroma, it can um, reabsorb. If it is a bigger seroma, often it will need drained. If it's not drained and it's left, sometimes you will get a fibrous connective tissue around it, and the the fluid within that because it's full of proteins, it can um, almost, calcify is not the right word, but it can go quite hard and firm and it can cause problems. If it's left untreated, it could also potentially cause um, infection. So that I'm, 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 I'm addressing those. So what is the fluid then that drains out after liposuction? So within the first 48 hours, you will have a certain amount of tumescent fluid that will drain out, um, that has been left behind. There shouldn't be, there shouldn't be an awful lot. However, when there is extensive liposuction, there is a space, often a space left in the tissues that fills up with a mixture of um, lymph fluid and plasma. And so when it gets beyond 48 hours, then that is what people are seeing um, on the internet that is being pushed out of the tissues. It is 
serous fluid, but it's a, a mixture of, of lymph and plasma. Um, I, I am not a proponent of incisional drainage. I don't think that it should be done. I think that it causes complications. I think that it increases inflammation, which then increases more fluid. So um, I, I believe that there is a place for doing very gentle massage, skin massage, to help encourage residual tumescence out of the drains. Um, my, adv my advice is to let nature does what it does naturally and let it drain out, have the patient wearing um, pads so that it drains out, pushing fluid out of, um, out of incisions is, I don't believe it's correct um, and I don't think it's safe. So those, I, I hope that explains, I'm kind of waffling a bit, but I hope that explains what the fluids are that are coming out of the body after surgery.